Well, hello everybody. It is Thursday. Yes, Thursday. Thursday at one o'clock in the afternoon. I am just finishing. I finished packing up my stuff and my clothes and stuff and toiletries and all that jazz. And I'm going to start finishing the final touches on getting the food tote packed up. And then when Bob gets home, then I usually do the food stuff last. So it goes in the cooler and then ice on top. So that's what's going on. I was going to show you guys this. Remember how I was showing you how I like this 31 tote because of the handles. Um, so I have that tote full of the towels and everything. Then I have handles on top and I can still, or I have stuff on top. Do you see how full it is? I mean, I don't feel like I'm doing a good explanation, but, um, so there's plenty of things piled up. It's full and I can still grab it and carry it out, which is nice. That's one of the things I like about that. So I'm fighting with my printer a little bit. I'm not quite sure why, but, um, it's printing 800 pages. I like to take the, we've never had an issue with our reservation, but I just like to make sure that I have all the paperwork. You know, I'm a freak like that. I'm an over planner. What can I say? So anyway, I was just printing that out and it seems to be fixed. I think it was just out of paper or something. I don't really know. So anyway, that's what's happened so far. Okay. So it's 1 30. Let me push my seat back here. And I am pretty much every, have everything ready to go. This is what, this is what the food tote looks like going out. Um, I have to, I bring this pan. I don't know why. I probably shouldn't. I don't know why. I just always bring my Pamper Chef square. I feel like we always end up needing it if I don't bring it. Anyway, not the point. So um, I have that ready to go. And I have my clothes ready to go. That's ready to go. That's ready to go. Um, and I'll give you one guess as to what I'm doing. Answering comments. <laughs> I just feel like I want to be like completely caught up before I hit the door. So that I, because when I, by the time I get back, I will have two videos that have gone live that I haven't been able to respond to comments to. So I want to make sure that the ones that are currently live are caught up. So that's what I'm doing, at least on my beauty channel. I'm not sure if I will be able, I might be caught up on my, except for the road ramble. So anyway, doesn't, doesn't matter. doesn't matter. By the time you guys see this, I'll be back anyway. <laughs> and we'll have answered any questions. So, all right. So anyway, I just thought I would give you a little update. Next time, we'll be packing up the camp. Okay, so Bobby's home, obviously. <laughs> and I just wanted to show you guys, there's lots of room, even though this camper is closed down, there's lots of room to store things in there. So we put a lot of our stuff that's going to be in here anyway, in here while we're driving. I really should have shown you like what I'm putting in here before I'm putting it in here, but Bob's taking forever to pack. So I'm going to show you, I'll actually like crawl in here. And so you can see that blue thing is my CPAP and Bob's will go right next to that. And then I have that there. My bag's here. And then this food tote will go right here sideways. And then the box, that we have will go in front of there, but I'll show you all that. But I thought I'd show you how much room there is on the inside. All right, and that, my friends, is as much as I'm going to put in there. I could put the pillows and stuff, but not worth it. Not worth it. Food cooler. Bobby. Hello. <laughs> He's carrying the ice. And uh, so this is what I do. I do like a dry good side and a cold side. And then as I put them in the things, then I cross them off just to make sure we don't forget anything. These are the things, bug spray effect, sunscreen, yep, yep, yep. So there you have it. Oh! Gotta break it up. Well, my friends, we are off. It is 3.09. Did you even have a head, a head? Did you have a time in your head you wanted to leave? Nope. Me either, actually. We were trying to be, we're trying to be a little more laid back. Well, I am. I don't really do laid back very well. No. I do time, guideline, rules, that sort of thing. That's what I do well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so anyway, we're packed up, ready to go. We had, it's about what, two hours and 45 minutes? No, a little over three hours. I think it's more like 2.45, we'll see. I don't think so. But, well, you're con are you counting the time we stop and eat? No. Anyway. We'll see. It's 3.09. Uh, so we stop uh, usually about, I don't know, not quite halfway maybe, or a little more than halfway. Yeah, I don't a little know. more than halfway. More than halfway. 
at an A and W every year to have dinner on the way down. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Bob looks forward to it every year. Yep. Uh, <laughs> so we will be doing that, and then uh, yeah, we'll check in here and there. There might be something funny that will happen. Never know. Oh, Bob has news. There is big news. There's folks. big news. Bob has decided. Well, I'll let you. He and he came up with this, not me. So. Mm, well, to go. let everyone know. Starting the first week in July, the banter with Bob will begin. <laughs> and it's going to be a bi-weekly segment. We don't know what day. We haven't decided that yet. But um, what I'm going to do is I'll pick a topic to talk about every two weeks. And and uh, I'll talk about it. But I will also, if any of you have questions or you need some tips on stuff, to, you know, in your house, outside, whatever, I'll, I'll do the best I can to answer those questions as well. But uh, just remember... I'm talking about a topic and I get on my soapbox. Oh boy. You folks asked for this. So. Well, they haven't asked for it in a long time. Well, that's because they forgot. Last year we, we were talking about banter. A little with refresher Bob. in their head. So it's going to be a bi weekly bi-weekly. banter with Bob. Bi weekly banter so, with Bob. Twice a month. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Do you want them to suggest anything right now for your first week or do you already have something in your head? Oh, if they want to, if they would like my, uh... Wait, the, sorry you guys, the road is really Yeah, bumpy. these roads are terrible. Um, if they have something that they would like to talk about, or want me to talk about, or get my opinion on, yeah, go ahead and, you know, if, if uh, you know, I'll take a look and see what I have, or if I have one that I want to talk about. So yeah, if you guys have a suggestion, something that you want to hear him do this week, go ahead and, and let us know. Um... You know, probably something other than how do you feel about your wife buying so much makeup? Because let's just answer that. What? How do you feel about me buying makeup? Oh, I don't mind. See, he doesn't mind. No, because um, I just spend how much on my new boat. <laughs> yeah. So, I, mean, I really don't have a pot to pee in or a window to throw it out when it comes to that matter. <laughs> so. Oh, boy. So, just so everybody knows, you can eliminate those questions because. He fully, he knows how, he knows that I spend money on makeup. He knows what I spend. He is supportive of such. He knows that I put a lot of time and effort, right? Yep. Into the channel. So we can eliminate those questions right off the bat. Right. But anything else, it doesn't have to be about me, doesn't it? It no, could be anything. It could be anything. It could be just, it could be anything. You right. just, the sky's the limit. Yep. So we'll pick something from what you guys, and when I say we, I mean he. We'll pick something from what you guys suggest. So, anyway, that's the big news. We'll check in later. Woohoo! So Bob had to stop and get some Tylenol PM because sometimes when he's camping, he needs a little help sleeping. And he came out with that and these, which are cheese curds, which I wish that I could somehow let you guys hear what they sound like when you eat them. But there's some people love them. Railroad tracks. And some people can't stand them. What do you think? I don't know why anybody doesn't like these. I know. They're delightful. We have we have a bit of a debacle. No, it's not a debacle. It's a situation. We have a situation. Apparently our brake lights aren't working on the trailer. The light lights are working. The left signal, the right signal, but the brake lights aren't working. But there's nothing we can do. I should have logged Bob on the side of the road, but I quite frankly was worried about him being on the side of the road and I was sitting in the driver's seat doing as I was instructed, pushing the brake and whatnot. So we're just hoping we don't have to make any sudden stops at this point because there's not much we can do. Can't turn around and go home. Well, we could, but I'm not gonna. Right. <laughs> in the words of Bob, well, we could, but I'm not gonna. Right. So we are just going to hope for the best. We're always, we always go very slowly anyway when we're pulling. And when I say we, I mean Bob. He's always very careful and goes very slowly when he's pulling. So, because you don't have the same kind of reaction time, right? Right. You have to start slowing down sooner. And I understand these things, but I don't ever drive when we're pulling things. So I don't know why. I just don't. I don't have any experience. And this one grew up on a farm, and he has got tons of experience. Right. Ball and power. Power. So this, the sight of this ginormous thing always means that we're just about the campsite, or just about to the campground. We are, um, 
Hi. <laughs> this is going into the Dells. I did a lot of this touring around last year, so I don't know how much I'll show, but that big thing, we still don't know what that is. Every year we wonder. Anyway, I've kind of been slacking. I've kind of been checking YouTube and my emails and stuff while driving. Chit chatting with Bob a little bit. Bob's particularly quiet tonight. Yeah, we gotta figure out where we gotta go. Yeah, just gotta figure out where we gotta go. I, uh, we both are pretty tired. I have a feeling we're gonna be in bed early tonight. Early for camping. Right? We'll see. <laughs> Got cigars to smoke. Right. Got a cigar to smoke. Um, sometimes on the, on the when we've done this one, was only have we done it only one time or tw oh, twice that we came down before. This is the third time. Yeah, but this is our third time. Yeah. I now I can be more talkative. Right. We're off the main beaten path. Oh, we're on right. the path to the campground. We got to go through a roundy round. A couple of them. <laughs> um, anyway, so I usually go to go to bed before he does because I'm tired. Yeah, she's and I'm, tired. And I'm hoping to, um, maybe I'll actually sleep in if it happens. We'll be right back. I wanted to put my arm down while he was driving through the roundy rounds. Don't want to have any issues. Right. So, um, yeah, so the, the campground that we go to is, by the way, is called Mirror Lake Campground, which is located on... It's actually a state park. Mirror Lake. Yes, it is a state park. A Wisconsin state park. The one, a lot of, the campground that a lot of people camp at down here is Devil's Head. Devil's Lake. Devil's Lake. Devil's Lake. But we drove through there once, and um, it was like wide open field. And must have been a tree somewhere. A little girl just got killed there last weekend. A tree fell on her tent. Seriously? No. Oh, maybe I did hear that. Well, there you go. There's some uplifting news been, for you guys. Yeah. Three, place Mostly, it's a wide open field because we yeah, drove through there. Mom needs. Mom needs some trees. I need some shade. I do not like to bake in the sun. I actually don't like to be in the sun at all. I like to see the sun. I don't like to sit in the sun. Right. <laughs> I'm a delicate flower, don't you know? Well. I'm a princess. Oh, <laughs> all right, we'll check in when we're actually at the site. So this one, we've we've stopped for all of two minutes, and he's already spraying the <laughs> spraying the fogger down so that when we're done setting up, Andy's already having a mini stogie. Camping. <laughs> oh, the mosquitoes are bad this year. I don't. It's because I think it's the wet. We had a wet spring. Yeah. And, I mean, I, I hate to say it, but we really what we really need is a couple of dry days and then one really hot day right at the end to mm -hmm. burn them off. So. All right, it's time to unpack. We have neighbors that we don't know tonight. And then our friends will be there tomorrow night. So this is where our camper goes, obviously. And then Tim and Kristen and Maggie will sleep here. You can kind of see that because they have a tent. Then our screen tent here. Other friends camper here, tent there. It's going to be like a little community. Okay, so I just thought I would show you <coughs> kind of how it looks now on the inside. So we sleep on that end, not that it really matters to you, but that's where we sleep. And then, I think I've showed you guys this last year, but, so I haven't unpacked this yet. I, pro I will probably tomorrow make sense of it. I kind of make this table, because we don't eat, we don't sit at the table to eat. We always sit out by the fire. But I kind of make this like our pantry, <laughs> so to speak, so things are easy to grab and that sort of thing. I'll show you later in the weekend, but, so that's that. And believe it or not, right there is going to be a coffee pot. We started bringing a coffee pot last year. It was the best thing we ever did. I have that in here. I bought this new pan to keep in the camper, actually. Check this bad boy out. I bought it at Fleet Farm. Look at it, it folds up. It's for backpacking, but it'll fit nicely in the drawers and stuff, so I'm pretty excited about that. Mm -hmm. And... Yeah, you'll be good there. We're not going to go anywhere tonight anymore, okay. so you'll yeah. be just fine. You can fly have... park right in the middle of the driveway if you want it. We have neighbors, and Bob's not really happy about it. Okay. So this is the coffee pot. <laughs> I'm about to pull that out, but anyway, so that's what we have going on here. Gummy worms apparently Bob needed. Coffee, smell of crunch, don't leave home without it. So anyway, 
that's kind of what it looks like. And then this end we turn into our closet, so to speak. Um, I, we kind of line our bags up there and, you know, it's like, a, it's like a closet. So it's nice. When we camp with another couple, obviously we don't do that. We just put our bags, like, you know, on the things over there or whatever. But anyway, that's the setup. All right, that's the bed. Looks like we actually sleep on top of this. We don't get in the sleeping bag. I get all kind of claustrophobic. So we just use it as extra cushion. And Bob uses just this one thing usually. Because he's always hot. And I have this and this. And then if that's not enough, I have my Mexican blanket as well. We got that on our honeymoon. Bob's putting up the screen tent. That's usually good for a few words or two. So there's the fire started by me. Thank you very much. I start it, Bob keeps it going. Right. Oh yeah. I made myself some Crystal Light Raspberry Lemonade. And why is this not focused? And Bob's having a, sp is it a spotted cow? Yep. And how does it taste? <laughs> it's, it's a lot of work getting the camp set, camp set up. I should flip it around. But it's nice that we get up here a day ahead of time. And yeah, so that we can like... We get our stuff, because we're not professional. I mean, we're doing, we do well with the camper. Yep. When it comes to but setting up the screen tent, well, of course, now we know. We got to make sure we set the, all the roof poles in first. I did come out and help him. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I tell you, you what. That, by the way. You're welcome. So, yeah, um, pretty simple. Well, I tell you what, I keep, I break out, I don't think I've ever talked to you guys about this, but I always break out right here and right here because of where my mask for my CPAP sits. Um, it, clogs my pores no matter what I do. So every once in a while I have a really bad breakup. And I have one of those right now and I don't appreciate it. Anyway, so yeah. We are set up. I don't even know what time is it. I've gone obviously and washed my face and it's quarter to nine. Um, but we just kind of putz around. We're not doing it in an all fired hurry or anything. We just kind of do a little bit of this and a little bit of that and yeah. So I'll probably check in one more time, show you the fire before we sign off for the day. Instructions, so right. I can remember it. You can't see Bob, but he's saying he should have gotten out the instructions first before attempting. And we got a little flock of geese. So I'm just chilling by the, the fire. Right yeah, the lake is right there. Far, we'll take you over there it. tomorrow. We'll go on that overlook right there before the people that, that are going to be in that cabin get in there. Yeah. So anyway. Thus sendeth the vlog for today. We won't be doing much but chilling here. The brewers are already losing. Bob's bucky about that. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys for coming along. Hope you enjoyed. This will be day one of... Well, probably we'll have three more after this. So maybe there'll be four. We'll see how much footage we get the rest of the weekend, though. I can't guarantee. Once, once my niece gets here and then my adopted nieces, <laughs> I kind of get involved in that, but... We'll see. We shall see. So, anyway, have a good night. We'll talk to you soon. Say bye. Bye. -bye. Can you see his doggy? <laughs> bye.